Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So today I have a little bit of a different video. Obviously I don't have any makeup on and that's because I'm going to be doing my full face of makeup on camera and I'm going to be using the products that my boyfriend picked out for me. He didn't really want to be on camera which is fine so I just got him to come in and pick out the items for me to use and that's what I'm going to use today. And he picked out some good items and then he kind of sabotaged me with the lip colour a little bit so we'll see. How this turns out, I actually have to go to work after this, so hopefully it isn't too bad. Like it's perfect filming day, and I'm just, I don't know, I've been in like super motivated with YouTube. Like, I filmed two videos the other day, edited one this morning, and I just felt like filming again. And lately, like, normally I'm not that motivated, like, I just do this as a hobby. It's fun, but I work full-time hours, and I work shift work, and I'm tired all the time. I want YouTube to be something that I enjoy doing, not something that I have to do, because I have so much in my life that I'm, like, committed to and have to do, and especially with work, I have a lot in that area, so this is kind of like my little fun thing that I do on the side. It makes me happy, and lately I've been really, really enjoying it, so, yes. That's what I'm doing, and I have so many ideas, I have like a whole note section on my phone, like with honestly probably like 15 different video ideas that I really want to do. I'm going to spray my face with Matte Fix Plus because I do this every single time I do my makeup, so I'm just going to do it, and I've just um, washed my skin and put moisturizer on, so that's why my skin is a little bit glowy at the moment, because I've like just freshly put moisturizer on like five minutes ago. I probably should let it sink in a little bit more, but I don't have time because I have to go to work soon. So, yes, I'm just going to spray my face with this. It like ate a little bit. The reason I like to do that is because it just gives my face an extra bit of hydration um, because it is winter at the moment, so my skin is kind of dry. And this has glycerin in it, so it'll make makeup like stick to your face a bit better. So, it's kind of like a primer and like makes your skin nice and glowy and hydrated. So, for the primer, he picked the NYX Angel Primer Coat because it has a pink cap. <laughs> I think he went very like via colour, pretty much. I'm just going to take the NYX Angel Girl Primer. It's pretty new to me. I used it for the first time a couple videos ago in a drugstore try on. This is really similar to the Hourglass Mineral Bell Primer, but it's not as liquidy and I kind of like this a little bit more, which is saying a lot because the Hourglass one's like my holy grail primer. So yeah, this one like really smooths out the skin really nicely. So I'm just going to pop this on my skin. My skin will probably go a bit red because it does that when I rub things in. But it just smoothed out your skin so nicely, this primer. Especially because at the moment my skin is pretty textured. Because I had a bad reaction to a product, so... Yeah, but it's like it's like a pore filling primer, but it's not a pore filling primer, if that makes sense. But yeah, it just like smooths out your skin and makes it look really nice. So, for foundation he picked the Bourjois Healthy Mix and I think he picked this because it has a red lid. This one is a bit too dark for me so I'm just going to mix in some of my NYX Pro Foundation right now just because I do this with like every single um, foundation because I am so fair and nothing ever matches me pretty much. I'm just going to take my sponge and blend this all in. I'm just going to skip past this because it's really not that exciting and you probably see me put on foundation heaps of times, so I will see you when it's time to do conceal. Okay, foundation is done and I've also popped a bit of the NYX Dark Circle Concealer under my eyes to colour correct because I do that every single day. For concealer, he picked the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which I haven't used for a while actually because I've been panning, so I haven't used this that much, but I do really like this concealer. I was surprised that he picked it. I think he picked it because it was like different. Everything else was in tubes and this was in a pot. So, I've got a bit on my sponge. I'm just going to press this under my eyes. Look how much like brighter my under eye looks now. Just from doing that. I'm just going to pop this on my eyelids as well, just to like prime for my eyeshadows. I'm going to set this straight away just so it doesn't crease. So, for under my eyes, I'm just going to use my RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm so proud because I finished a whole one of this, and this is a brand new one. 
So I'm just going to pop the flat end of my sponge like in there and I'm just going to go over quickly again so there's no lines and then I'm going to push the powder in under my eyes. Oh, I feel like there's a hair on my face. For my face, I'm just again going to go over my forehead because I do get creasing. For powder, he picked the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Warm Light. Um, because he said it looks like I hadn't used this compared to the other ones, which is true, this is new. It's a little bit dark for me, but that's okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my face, mainly on my forehead. Sorry if my lighting's gone on weird, the sun's like just come out. Um, so hopefully I'm not too bright. And I'm just going to take my setting powder and just brush away the powder that's under my eyes. Now I'm going to do eyebrows and I didn't get him to pick anything out because I used like the same two products. So I'm going to do this really quickly, probably off camera, and I will be right back. Alright, so my brows are done. They're looking a little bit crazy. But that's okay. So I'm going to do eyes next because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do on the eyes. So I'm going to do eyes and then do the rest of my face. For eyes, he picked out the Violet Voss um, Taupe Notch Eyeshadow. Now, I think um, I've only got one up at this point. But I've started doing the One Week One Palette series. And I was going to do one on this. And I used it twice. And I hated it so much that I decided to declutter it. And... I just haven't got around to like taking it off my shelf, so this is the eyeshadow palette that he picked, of course. Um, the one cool toned eyeshadow palette that I own. And I don't hate this because it's cool toned, I hate it because it's like a bunch of the same. Like these three browns are almost identical. And then you've got that brown, that brown, and you don't really have like a super dark brown. All the shimmers look the same. It's just a palette of the same and I really regret buying this because it was so expensive. But I'm going to try and make it work today. I'm going to take this shade here, the peachy shade, and use that as like a transition shade. Transition shade is down. I feel like I look really... Pale. Well, that's probably because I haven't put bronzer or anything on yet. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is Bestest. Bestest, this one just here. So I'm really gonna try and do like a more neutral eyeshadow look. And you'll understand when you see the lip color. On the same brush, I'm gonna take the shade Extra here. Because that's kind of the only darkish brown except for this shade Tote, which is like a dark grey. But I don't want a grey, I want a brown. So I'm going to take extra on the same brush and try and darken this out of the area. But again, it's just not really dark enough. Like it's not the darkness that I want really. I think I'm going to try and use this shade here, that might work a bit better, I think it's called First Class. They look exactly the same, pretty much. Mm, that's a little bit, yeah that's kind of what I was after, just a darkish brown. I've just got a tiny bit of shape tape on the back of my hand and I'm just going to cut my crease, like do a half cut crease and I'm just going to pop it like right here and then look straight and it'll show you, see how it's like transferred up, it'll show you where to go, like how high to take your crease. Sorry, I've got to be like right up in the mirror to do this. Okay, my crease is cut, semi evenly but whatever. So I'm just going to go with a neutral kind of colour. I'm going to go with this one here, which is the shade number one, and I'm going to pack it straight onto, actually I'm going to, mm, 
and I'm just taking a Sigma E55 shading brush. I'm just going to pack it onto that brush and then I'm going to just press it on my eye like where we've put the concealer and it should stick. Wow. So I haven't set the concealer so it should stick. Um, but it's looking like I may have to use Fix Plus with this because it's not really sticking very well. It's pretty much the same with the wet. And I'm just going to take what's left over on um, my brush that I used with the brown and just kind of blend this part together. So that's the eyeshadow. I'm not really happy with it, but that's what I've got. So I'm just going to move on to my face. So for bronzer, he picked the Too Faced, uh, what is this? Sweet Tea Bronzer. It's like the baked bronzer with two halves. I haven't used this in a really long time, and I think he picked it because it's like a little love heart, and the packaging's pretty. I'll come back to the eyes, but I'm just going to do my face first. So I'm just going to bronze up using this. I actually don't even really remember what this looks like. It's giving me a nice, like, healthy, bronzy glow. I'm just going to blend this down my neck a little bit. Wow, I'm super bronzed now. For blush, he picked the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Tea Rose. And I think he picked this because, it again, pretty packaging. It's got a nice little flower on it. Um, I don't mind this. I don't know how much this is going to go with the lip colour, so I'm just going to use a little bit of it because it is like quite a bright pink and I don't normally wear like pink blushes. I'm more of like a mauve kind of neutral colour or like a peachy blush. I don't mind this, but I feel like it's really dry and you don't get like much pigmentation from it. Alright. For highlight, he picked out the Milani Strobe Light in the shade Afterglow. Again, this is kind of new to me. I haven't used it that often, um, but it matches the blush and I thought that was cute. And just dust that on the tops of my cheekbones. I love this highlighter. It's so pretty. Hair is in the way. I don't normally do my makeup with my hair down. I just feel like my hair just gets in the way. I'm gonna go over all of that with my powder brush just to make sure it's all blended in together. I guess I'm gonna do the lower lash line quickly. So I'm just gonna take the excess of whatever is on this brush and pop it under my lower lash line. And I'm gonna take my highlight and put that on into my inner corner. And just dab it right in there. As my inner corner highlight. Do a wing. And for eyeliner, he picked out the Maybelline Gigi Hadid liquid liner, which I have been using a lot lately. So I'm just going to pick up my mirror. So I attempt to stay in frame. And I literally feel like I have a hair on me. And it's been tickling me this whole time. So I'm just going to try and attempt a winged eyeliner. Keep in mind I have not done a winged eyeliner in so long. I guess. Oh, that's not even at all. Whatever. So, they're not very even, but that's the best I'm going to do. For mascara, he picked out the MAC Horse and Naughty 2 Black Lash. I've used this once and I did not like it at all. I just haven't decluttered that half of my makeup collection yet, so 
That's why it's still in there. Again, he picked this because he said it's purple. I'm going to use the bottom mascara first just to see how this looks on my eyes. I feel like this does nothing for my eyelashes. Like, it doesn't curl them at all. I'm so picky with mascara. I need a mascara that, like, curls and volumes. Curls and volumes. I need a mascara that curls and gives volume as well. I'm gonna try and use the other one because I just really don't like that. I think this one's like a smaller one. Okay, this might be a bit more promising because it looks more of like a, um, a brush that I'd go for. God, it's just so hard to use because this is so far away and so small. I feel like I don't have much control. Oh god, I just whacked myself. Right, overall, no, don't like this mascara like whatsoever. But I'm gonna do it on the other eye. Okay, so that is my mascara. It literally went everywhere because the second one is so hard to control. Oof. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my roll lash just to curl them because I hate how they look right now. See, look at that difference. This, these eyelashes are like sticking up and these ones are sticking straight and that's just from like literally going through my eyes once. Okay, so now that I have like my liner and mascara on, I actually don't mind the eyes at all. I think it's like a nice like neutral everyday eye and it just looks a bit more put together. So he picked out a lip liner and a lip color. So for the lip liner he picked Saw by MAC because he said it looked purple and then for the lip colour, he picked out the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Prague. So like a bright pink, pretty much, which I never, ever, ever wear these colours. And I find these colours kind of make my teeth look yellow, so... Mm. I'm going to line my lips, which I don't normally do with liquid lipsticks, but I'm just going to do it today. This lip liner is also like a lot darker and a lot more pink than what I normally go for. So my lips are now lined and they're looking a little bit crazy. I'm just going to go in with this. I think I might have worn this actually like once or twice, but I don't normally wear colours like this. Or if I do, I don't wear it. Like I do really minimal makeup, so I'll just do like... A bit of bronzer in the crease, eyeliner, and then I'll wear this, but we'll see how this goes. And this is the finished look and I actually hate to say this <laughs> but I don't mind the lip color like at all although yes it does make my teeth look a, a little bit yellow but overall I don't think he did a bad job I mean it was definitely a bit of a challenge but I think I made it work I'm just gonna spray fix plus on my face So this is the finished makeup look. Overall, I kind of like it. It pushed me out of my comfort zone a little bit. I never ever wear colors like this on my lips. I always wear like reds or nudes and that's pretty much it. So I'm actually kind of loving this look. I think he did a good job. Um, so yeah, I, he doesn't want to be on camera so I'm not going to get him to come in here. But I will show him the look and I might put it in the description below what he thought. So thank you guys so much for watching, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more videos from me. Ben, if you are watching this, which you're probably not, thank you for helping me out with this video, I love you. And I will see you guys in my next video.